This morning on today's Holiday Kitchen, the top food trends of 2011. Savour Magazine is out with their Savour 100 issue, where leading chefs give their top picks when it comes to all things food. James Oslin is the magazine's editor-in-chief and a judge on Bravo's Top Chef Masters. James, good morning. Great good to morning. have you. Good morning. Welcome. It's great to be We've here. We've got a lot to get to, so we're going to get started right away. Chardonnay from Italy, who knew? Exactly. <laughs> But more and more, you know, sometimes Chardonnays tend to be fruity, oaky. These that are coming from Italy are bright and fresh and crisp. I see glasses. You can, and please, you know, any time of day for Chardonnay. Amazing with seafood and all sorts of other foods. Mm. Isn't it delicious? It's, 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 it's complicated. Nice. It's, uh, what would you say? It's oaky. Oaky, nice. Crisp, beautiful. Crisp. Okay. Next we have I'm sorry. <laughs> Bridge Reserve Cheese. Now Europe is usually thought of as the motherland of cheese. More and more amazing cheeses are being produced here in the States, including this one from Wisconsin. You say this is for people who want to make the, and I'm quoting you here, the world's worst best grilled cheese sandwiches? The world's best, best. grilled cheese sandwich. World's best. Okay, world's best. That's right. I think of Europe as being the big cheese place, but... Yeah. Wisconsin and the states yeah. more and more mm. available in cheese shops all over the country. Oh, that's very good cheese. Incredible food. Right. Okay. Absolutely all right. incredible. Okay. okay, also we've got red pole beef. Red pole beef is a heritage breed of beef. You know, you've heard of black Angus. This is another heritage breed. It's a mm. grass-fed beef, not corn-fed. And so it's not delicious. Sometimes corn-fed beef, gra I'm sorry, sometimes grass-fed beef can be a little weak. This is luscious, incredible beef. Truly my favorite beef, the ultimate beef, an extraordinary food. We've got something called a hard neck garlic. What As is that, what opposed is that, that to mean? soft neck garlic, which is the usual is, supermarket is this the variety. Neck? Is it, okay. Yes, exactly. It's got this very firm, firm stalk that runs up the center of it. But what makes this garlic so great is these great, juicy, sweet, never overpoweringly mm. cloves. Brilliant, brilliant garlic. I love this Okay, food. now the piece of resistance. This has been a food <laughs> Of trends as long as I've been a kid, one of my favorite foods. More and more chefs are finding that supermarket foods make their chefy foods even more fabulous. There's a great chef here in New York City named Craig Koketsu who serves this dish of broccoli with a cheese sauce with a bunch of Cheetos crumbled on top, and it sounds crazy. You should get an award for that. Just, it just is for putting crazy Cheetos in delicious. You have got to try this at home. A it great is way so to make your brilliant. kids eat the broccoli. Exactly, right? exactly. I've heard of guava paste. I've never had it. This is going to be hot in the coming year? It's a staple throughout Latin America, and more and more we're finding it here in the States. It's available at all Latin supermarkets. Mm. It's guava fruit that's been boiled down to an almost like jello-like consistency. My favorite way to eat it is as they do in Brazil. This is called Romeo and Juliet. Mm. It's a fresh cheese with a guava paste on top. It's simple. It's perfect. They like it's to eat delicious. that in Spain as well. Mm. Now, what's going on here? These are freeze-dried fruits that were recommended by Eric uh, Repair, the chef from New York City, oh. freeze-dried fruits, but these are, are just bursting with crazy, vibrant flavor. Mm. This company in New Zealand, they also freeze-dry things like soy sauce and balsamic vinegar. Mm. It's, it's just insanely good. You just add that to something you're making, it gives it a little bit of a pop. Exactly. Got a new right. take on mustard going to be hot here. This is a brilliant company from Canada called Coslix. Their triple crunch mustard uh, is uh, whole mustard seeds. Good morning, Hi. Paul. <laughs> and <I'm> late. <laughs> <laughs> and it uh, has a little whiskey in it, beautiful on sandwiches, stirred into Bloody Mary's, extraordinarily delicious mustard. And last but not least? XO sauce from China, uh, a, a classic condiment made from shallots and scallops and mm. shrimp, mm. beautiful in stir fries, a wonderful food, an ahi amarillo powder wow. from Peru, a Peruvian chili. It's equal parts sweet, equal parts hot. It's brilliant, sprinkled on top of popcorn. Oh, what I is love that? It. Ahi powder. Mm. Ahi I think of it as being so a tuna. Good. No, Ahi. that's just a coincidence. Yes. Ahi <laughs> is. <laughs> we hope we hope we don't want to eat powder tuna. No, no, no. <laughs> but but, but, but chefs are always trying to to punch through to the next big thing, right? In mm. terms of yes, ingredients. Yes, absolutely. And, and and you know, chefs they live, breathe sure. food, twenty four right. seven, and these foods. Fantastic. That's, Some of the best we've been That would be great on roasted amazing. potatoes. It'd be great. This this powder. This it's got kind of a, also, not quite cumin, but something some a little Cheetos. more. As a yeah. dry yeah. rub for uh, pork chops that you throw in the By the, the way, I, just because I misread that, I want to say it again. The um, cheese, Uplands Pleasant Bridge Reserve, Reserve. Cheese, best. Grilled cheese sandwiches. Best. Right, Best. right. right. Yeah. Sorry, Mr. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thanks so much. Thank you.